hey guys welcome back again to my channel how you are doing hope you guys are doing well on today's video we are going to be making a mini skirt and this is the fabric we are going to be using this Ankara print and this is our lining this is my zip I'm using a short zip because it's a short skirt my pins my measurement tape my book for measurements scissors and chalk so guys let's get right into this video i'm going to be folding the fabric into two like so this is how i'm going to be cutting it i want to be cutting it separately okay normally i do cut it into four and bring out the zip allowance but today i'm going to be cutting it separately make sure you have this um curve ruler for tailors is okay so you can use it to cut your coat so guys i'm measuring the length of the skirts the length is 16 and i added 4 inches extra right now i'm trying to remove the 2 inches for the zip allowance okay i'm cutting the back right now in case you don't know this is the back i'm cutting right now and i'm taking the measurement for the length of the skirt is 16 i added 4 inches extra to make it 20 because i'm going to be folding it with lining i'm going to be folding the four inches inside with lining so that's why i made it i make it um 20 this length is 16 i make it 20 okay so after removing the zip allowance right there that i pointed i'm going to then take from the waist to the hip i did eight inches then from the waist can you see where i measured from the two inches i removed from the zip allowance i removed the zip allowance so i can measure from there i got the waist measurement okay anything you get from your from your waist you divide it into four so the waist i'm using is 30 divided by four is eight plus two inches extra i made it 10 and i added half inches for the turning okay so that is ten and a half. So that's what I marked right here. So from the waist, I cut the hip. So the hip divided by four is ten. I added two inches extra to make it eleven. To make it twelve. So that is what I got, and I carved it with my curve ruler, and then for the down part i am going to use what i got on the waist and that is what i'm going to use for the down part of the skirt okay then i'm going to take my stretch ruler and roll it out so this is the shape our short skirt is giving if your short skirt didn't give you this shape just know that you didn't get it right so this is the back pattern okay i'm trying to cut it out right now So this is how it looks this is the back pattern so i'm going to be folding the front pattern okay remember the front doesn't have any zip allowance okay that is why i i spread it like this i remove the zip allowance so i can get the measurement for the front okay remember the back and the front are not going to be the same so that is what i'm trying to do you can see how i spread it I'm trying to cut it out right now. So guys, I'm trying to divide the front side. Can you see the waist and the hips and the length of our skirt? Can you see that? So this is how it looks like, okay? So I'm trying to cut out the lining, okay? When cutting the lining for the skirt, remember we added 4 inches to the skirt length. The skirt length is supposed to be 16 inches. I made it 20 inches because I'm folding 4 inches. Okay, so that is it right there. So when cutting the lining, you're going to remove 8 inches from the lining. Okay, you're trying to turn it. I'm trying to notch it right now. I'm trying to notch the 4 inches. So when turning the lining, I know where I'm going to turn it from. Okay. So when cutting the lining, since you remove 4 inches from the skirt length, you're removing 8 inches from the lining, okay? 
So that is what I'm marking right now before I cut it. So this is me cutting out the lining okay after removing 8 inches from it. So guys, this is for the front part. I just finished cutting the lining for the front part, okay? So I'm going to cut the back part lining. I'm going to be doing the same thing I did for the front part. I'm going to notch the 4 inches. I'm going to be folding inside. Then on the lining, I'm going to mark 8 inches where I'm going to cut it out from. And right now I'm cutting it out. So after cutting it out, this is how it looks. I'm trying to separate it. Okay. So guys, this is how it looks like. I'm going to take it to the machine and I'm going to go and turn it inside out. I have finished sewing it just up and down I stitched the up and the down parts I am going to turn it out now and I am going to iron it and I am going to sew it that is to cover the mouth if you don't have a whipper you can as well turn it inside out okay but I have a whipper I decided to you know don't I didn't turn it I'm going to whip the two sides okay so right now I'm trying to iron it after whipping it, after turning it and everything. I'm trying to iron it so it's going to be very smooth. So guys, right now I want to put the dart. For the dart, for the width, I'm going to be using 3 inches. Then for the length, I'm going to be using 4 inches. And this is the front dart that I am making right now. I am going to use my chalk and do the same thing I did on the other side. 3 inches for the width, 4 inches for the length. As you can see, I'm going to hold it like this and sew it downwards. The same thing I'm going to do for the front. But the front part, I'm going to be using 3 inches plus the 2 inches for our zip allowance. That's 5. Then 4 inches for the length. And that is it. So I just finished putting our dart and this is how our skirt looks like. It's becoming a short mini skirt, okay? So this is how it looks like. I'm just going to go and fix the zip for the back and I'll be right back. So this is how the zip looks like, okay? You can see open and close. I'm going to then go and iron it and then I'm going to use my hemming comb, okay? This is called hemming gum. I'm going to use it to hem the down part so it won't be opening. Just gum it and it's going to stay. Okay. Can you see that? I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. And it's going to glue to it. Okay. It's going to make your work very smooth and very neat. Okay. So guys, this is how it looks like. I'm trying to iron them so they would look neat right now i am going to go and join the two sides okay i'm going to measure it then join the two sides i'll take the full measurements okay the waist the hip and the down part i'm going to then go and close it So guys, I am done closing it and this is how our mini short mini skirt looks like. It looks so lovely and I'm supposed to wear it on the mannequin but it's not the size for my mannequin. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in my next video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like my video, share my video and comment down below. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in my next video. Bye.